Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries and I'm here with some more sterling jewelry. This stuff isn't for sale on this video right now because I haven't really researched it and looked at it, but I want to show you guys. And I bought a lot. And there's a few things that are still left from my sale and I want to thank everybody for their purchases. I really appreciate it. And everything has gone out um, pretty much. The, the bulk of it. So I feel good about that. So I still have this left. This was the Onyx and Marcosite and Tiger's Eye ring size 9 for $38. I still have this gold-plated bangle for $20. I still have this sterling mexico calendar big pendant uh, for 50 and i still have this marcasite bracelet in silver and that was 29 and there's also a medium flat rate box for 85 dollars and it is I think it's 10 pounds, a lot of pounds. I'll have to double check, but it's uh, all wearable. So if you want that, you can contact me about that, definitely. So I'm gonna go through some of what I picked up and then we can do some vintage uh, jewelry bag unbagging. Uh, alrighty, let's start with this big chunk of onyx and silver. Um, I believe it is hollow in there, but it's still really impressive. The only thing is it's it's like a size six. It's a small, small size bracelet. It just fits me. Then we have this sterling brooch. Um, I think, I'm not sure of the mark. It's kind of weird for me to, I'm, like I said, I have to research that and look closer. I don't know what that says. But it's some sort of glass. I have to research that also. But it's really beautiful. I love that. Then I have this. It's got marcasite and it is a locket and it hangs like a little heart Percy kind of thing opens up it has a prong set looks like a citrine in there sterling very cute and then this which I have to do some research let me back it up at first it was like is it Asian is it is that like a Viking ship? What is that? Um, it's sterling and I'm not sure what this material is, if it's gold or gold plated. So, and I believe it's marked 800 silver, I believe. Yeah. I think that's an eight. So I'm guessing it's pretty old. I wasn't able to get any information from the seller, except for Sterling and Marcosite. So that's gonna need some research, but I thought that was really neat. This I love, of course, because I love enamel so much, especially when it's vintage. This blue enamel. And it seems like it's got some gold plating on it. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Very pretty. Then we have this that I fell in love with. Paid too much probably, but this is definitely all sterling 
This is how the clasp looks. And I would definitely not wear this in the back. I would wear this to the side so it could be seen how pretty it is. It looks like MMA, the Museum of Modern Art, I think, 925WA. So got to do some research about that. But love all that, all that stuff. I wish I had a book with all that MMA stuff. Because... I've gotten a few pieces, and they're all super great quality. I guess it's a revival from some era, and I'm not sure which one that is, but I love it. What do you think of the yellow nails? I'm not a yellow person, but I felt like being sunny. What do you think? So... Then I got this. This was I was really excited to find because I had one similar, a larger round one, and it was not sterling and it was not marked. And the ones I kept coming up with were really nicely priced, um, and they were the Coro sterling. And this is, from what I can tell... If I can, if I'm looking at it right, that it was coral, but I can't tell. <laughs> I need to find my other magnifying glass. But see that at that angle, it looks like C O R O, and then might say sterling down there. But I love that style. There's a few, quite a few online, different birds. So, but that's so cool. This, my favorite shape pendant. Love that shape. I thought for a minute there was a stone missing. I was like, <gasps> I don't think there was. I think that's where it ends right there. That stone and that stone. Okay, cool. And this is Mark 925. See what that says 925 FAS. I've seen that before. I just love the shape of it. I don't know why. I love that shape. And I picked up some pendants. I like this inlaid kind of um, Mexico. Very pretty. I like that style. I'm sure there's a name for, name for it, but I don't know. Now, this I got really excited about because. This looks genuine, but I have to look into it. Um, it's hard. It doesn't pick it up that much on here. But the, it's, I don't know if it's exactly the cornflower um, star sapphire, but, and it's not picking it up very well here. Maybe you can kind of see the star, but in person, you can definitely see it. The star moves around in there. It's very tiny. Those are probably diamonds, but in sterling. And they 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 did put that um, the star sapphire in sterling. I wish it was picking it up better, because it's really neat to see that star in there. I've seen a lot of not real ones, and that star doesn't move. But on the real ones, it it goes back and forth and moves around. It's really neat. I'll have to take a picture and post it if I can get a good picture of it. These sterling earrings with the inlaid um, stones, you know, the turquoise and the lapis and could be malachite, something like that. Very pretty. I love those. This is really neat. I like that style, almost the can of teal and the uh, turquoise, but I don't think this was Mark Mexico. I, it said something else. Oh, made in Israel. So I thought that was interesting. I like the style of it. I love this little turquoise pendant with the leaves, classic. And this one, the sterling with the shells, isn't that adorable? That's something you could wear, like, every day. 
especially if you love the sea, like me. Um, what else did we have? Oh, I got to go over all the rings, but I think I'll leave that till next time. And I have a whole bunch of other stuff, but we'll do some unbagging. We sure will. And we might find something amazing. You never know. I like these ones with the zippers, but they're just... The Ziploc with the zippers are so cool. But, oh, this is cute. Probably just, oh, it's Avon. Avon. Doesn't fit me. But it's a cute Avon. Put that there. Are these Monet? Look at me, two at a time. Do you see any Monet? Because it sure looks like a Monet. Yep, it's so hard, it's glossy. There you go. Yep, that's a nice one with the diamond cuts. This is really pretty too. It's got the brushed silver. <gasps> yeah, that's pretty. You could wear that with a bunch of different bangles. It'll look really nice. This is pretty too. I like this. And it's in good shape, wow. That's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. What does it say? Saint Valentine? Oh. And out of the cross, little pink beads. Very pretty. Put that with the religious stuff later. A little poofy heart. That's always cute. Another heart, just like a Valentine's theme on this one. Which normally I don't have themes. Trafari. Oh! Bet you it's another Monet. It's hard to see because of the shine. Yep, I got it right there. You see it? Monet. That's a sweet one. Some of them come in small though, and it's hard to, to get the small ones on my wrist. A little pin. I guess it's from an actual, what do you call it? stamp that they had at one time. Religious pendant. Oh, I've seen that before and I can't pronounce it. It's got little diamond cuts on the outside. That's pretty. These are sweet. Nice peachy pink. Earring, Crown Trafari, that's a nice one if we have the other one. No, <laughs> it's not there, oh look, guess what, nothing there, it's like ceramic, I love these, the bypass, oh, Another Trafari. This is small. Holy mackerel. Hey, am. Yeah. That's a small size, but cool. Hey, this is a cool watch. What does that say? Chateau? It's got like a kind of a pearlized face a little beat up but I like it say Swiss Swiss made yeah that's kind of neat oh this is chunky this looks like a trafari thing 
And I'm right. <laughs> nice. And it's a good shape. Sometimes you see this scuffed up a little bit, like losing a little paint, but I bet you that looks good on somebody today. I bet you. Ooh. This is definitely 80s. That's what I'm going with. Reminds me of um, Zoot Suits. It's got a little wear. The zoot suits. A musical instrument. A little tie clip. Oh. Mm -mm. Somebody made this with the friendly plastic. I used to make that stuff. Let's see. Biddy. Biddy. And we have set of pearls. Let's see what we got. Japan. Kind of a choker style with a nice uh, embellishment on here. Not in bad shape if you took one of the silver pens and dabbed it and made it a little bit brighter. You can wear that mm -hmm. to the side. Seems small, like a 15, 15 incher. Still nice though. Cool. I have this with beads, beads galore. But these are earrings. Let me see. Carol Lee. With some marbly looking pink something. I don't know if it's glass or not, but this one is very different from that one. But not bad. These look like something you would put on a Christmas tree. I don't know. I think these are glass beads. They're very heavy, so... I don't think they're plastic, not with that weight to it. They're very cute. Little caged beads. In good shape. And they're glass. Very colorful. I like it. What do we have here? Lois. Lewis. Never heard of it. Or if it's somebody's name on there, I don't know. I think it's customized or something, I don't know. This is a Armatron. This is the uh, red ribbon. Some faux turquoise. Wow, that's heavy. I don't know if it's the metal that's heavy or this is just a piece of glass, but it's pretty. It's like the petty point or something, what do they call that? But it's not real turquoise. Some bracelets. Oh, this is, this matches the, um, the necklace that someone bought with the bold, um, the bold necklace set. Well, if you want it, you can have it to match. Let me know. I'll send it along to you. Oh, this is nice shape. It's not even, you know, got anybody's name on it or initials. Where can you go to do that stuff other than a jeweler's, I wonder? You used to be able to do it at Sears. They had like, um, kind of like a kiosk. You could have that, like anything done. I love the ends on here. Is this is Japan. Oh, look at that. 
This is fancy. But I think it's got a broken strand, unfortunately, but I love how it's got that uh, detail. This is kind of like the other ones I've found that have the rose. They're very pretty, but this doesn't have any Aurora Borealis. It's kind of just red and gold. And it's got something that doesn't belong. There we go. The weeds, <laughs> weeds, the beads are pretty born. And then we have these bangles. Those. And this was the little metal beads on stringy. Lots of wear on that. Oops. Montreal. That's cool. It's a tie clip with like a knot. That's neat. This was a necklace, but it looks like it's lost one of its strings. And it's plastic. This is a fancy Nelsonic. <laughs> I got me a fancy nail sonic. This poor thing is coming apart. Oh my goodness. And we have this little gold bracelet. And some... I think these are faux. They're heavy, so they, they might be glass. But these are plastic. That's it for those and these. And I'm going to put this stuff away so it doesn't get mixed with the bag stuff. But if you're interested in any of the things I said at the beginning that were left over from the other sale, let me know. Um, none of the new stuff is for sale yet. I still have to do some research on it and test everything. So thanks for joining me and if you have any questions it's vintage.discoveries21 at gmail.com and next time we'll go over um, all the rest of the sterling that I picked up in the rings have a great night thanks guys